Let's get back to that historic moment breaking overnight. Cheers erupting at Joint Base Andrews near Washington as three Americans step onto U.S. soil for the first time in more than a year. North Korea releasing those three men who had been held as prisoners there, and now they are finally free. President Donald Trump, Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, and Vice President Mike Pence all greeting the men when they, were la when they landed around 3 this morning. They've been in prison for between 12 and 30 months, one saying he had to do hard labor the entire time. Another saying being back in America is like a dream. This is a special night for these three really great people, and congratulations on being in this country. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo on his second trip to North Korea in six weeks, bringing the men home. Now back on American soil, the three former prisoners are finally getting the medical treatment they need and reuniting with their families. The family of Tony Kim, who was held for more than a year, thanking the president for engaging directly with North Korea. You know, I don't know what I would do. I don't know if I'll cry or if I'll jump up and down. I don't know, you know, will I faint because I, I miss them so much. Tony Kim and Kim Hak Song were arrested and held for unspecified hostile acts. Kim Dong Chul was serving 10 years in a North Korean labor camp. The release of these men proving Kim Jong-un is willing to meet America's requests, but still unanswered, will he do more? President Trump saying yes. I really think he wants to do something and bring that country into the real world.